This program is on every Thursday, 5 to 6 o'clock. It's being relayed on the following stations. Radio Farmington 87.7 in Marquee B County, the Voice of Hope in Cleveland, Southern District, My, uh, Maryland County, of course. Uh, this program is being produced and presented by the House Press and Public Affairs Bureau. It's the 24th day of uh, August. Uh, Thursday is Liberia's Flag Day. It is the 236th day of the year. We are left with 129 days to close up this year. The way to Liberia's election, according to National Elections Commission, NEC, we are counting 47 days to Liberia's general legislative elections. Welcome to the program. My name is Robert Haynes. I'm here along with... Well, my name is Rookwood Yeager. You look very elegant. Yes, today is Flag Day, 176 years of our flag, and I think it's much more patriotic and nationalistic to be like this. In a pure white. Symbolizing. <laughs> Symbolizing <laughs> what? <laughs> Purity. So let's let's take a few bites of our theme song with Black Chocolate to give you the lineup of all those things that encapsulated on our agenda to look at today. We're back up Capitol Hill, and we'll tell you more of those happenings from up Capitol Hill. We're back Chocolate. Welcome back to the program, wherever you are. Great to be back here and invite someone to listen along with you as we talk about happenings from the first branch of the Liberian government, the legislature, specifically the Honorable House of Representatives, bring it as the People's Deputies, where you have your leaders, you elected there, passing key legislations in your interest. We had closed earlier for our second quarter break. We record ourselves, work for additional uh, one week and again extended. Now we have been recalled of Capitol Hill to work in the interest of Liberia and Liberians. And those things are encapsulated on our return for extraordinary section. We'll tell you about them here. Today is Flag Day. How are you celebrating your Flag Day? I was just lecturing with Hukua Yega, telling me he's wearing pure white, which symbolizes purity. And uh, if you were to be in the studio, some of you who are watching us, thanks to the national broadcaster who is streaming us live on on Ellen TV official Facebook page. So if you're watching us, uh, across the world, whatever you are, it's awesome that we're able to share notes. We ought to talk about our country, Liberia, as to celebrate our flag day. Yaka, welcome again to the program. Yes, it's good that we're here and to inform the Liberian people about what is unfolding at the Honor House of Representatives. And I like the way you outlined a couple of those things because, you know, uh, we were on recess and, of mm -hmm. course, uh, meeting with our constituents uh, coinciding with the legislative and presidential elections. And, of course, we have to return to on Capitol Hill to discuss other key national issues in the best interest of the country and its people. And so we'll talk more of that this afternoon on the program. Right. So let's, uh, as we observe our flag day today, the Honorable House of Representatives message to uh, the Liberian people that is uh, posted on the hostess official Facebook page reads the happy National Flag Day Liberia on this special day we celebrate the pride unity and history of Liberia and its people may the rare white the rare and white scraps of our flag symbolize the resilience and courage that have carried our nation Liberia through challenges and made the blue squared and white star remind us of the African heritage and the freedom we cherish. Liberians, your strength and determination shine brightly like the star in our flag's blue corner. As we commem uh, commemorate this day, may we reflect on our journey honoring our establishments and look ahead with hope and determination for a brighter future. 
wishing all Liberians across the world a joyful and meaningful National Flag Day 2023. As a message from the Honorable House of Representatives to the people of Liberia. And that's why I think all Liberians are out and observing this day uh, because, you know, the role the legislature played in in acting this day uh, that it has been celebrated as a national holiday across the country. So yes, a message from the legislature that in acted this day uh, tells you that they're still concerned about uh, the formulation of the flag and how Liberians will go out in terms of celebrating or commemorating this day. What comes to mind when you think about the national enzyme of the country? We need to respect it, and I think the last time we had some conversations surrounding such, and the lawmakers were also concerned, is for Liberians to respect the flag. This is the national anzan, uh, the national symbol of this country, and so uh, the way we handle the flag should be done with respect because it symbolizes the country. Uh, it talks about how Liberia is a sovereign state, and so to have people use the flag in all forms and minor that are disrespectful, I think is wrong. And, and sometimes the legislature is concerned about this. Uh, and I think we need to respect the flag because this is just uh, a true color of us Liberians. Right. And so like, like, like you put it, we started to talk about it. And some time ago, we remember civics being taught in, 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 in schools. I'm hoping that uh, the Ministry of Education has reintroduced that because I remember doing civics from 7th grade up to 9th grade. And, and that basically tell you about, uh, about your rights and duties of the citizen. And of course, it's explain to you the essence of our national enzyme. When you passing, I remember some, some time ago growing up, when you're passing and it's after 6 o'clock, uh, public buildings and when they blow the they blow the whistle, the whistle yeah. and the flag is coming down everybody stand up in, in attention, attention yeah. you know and then the flag is being brought down and then the whistle is blown again and you start to move I don't see it these days yes I think uh, it's, it's much more but we we still owe it to our country and we owe it to the flag of Liberia so whenever we see the flag, we ought to pay our respect to this country. So for me, every time, you know, I'm passing and, and there's a public facility that is hosting uh, the flag, I will have to stand uh, and respect the flag of this country. Uh, and I think all of us should just emulate in the process. Uh, there's no big deal about that. If you're taking five, six minutes or so of your time to honor the national flag of this country, uh, you know, then you are patriotic, you are nationalistic. Right. At all times, the red, white, and blue should be respected. Our flag, not just any color, but the our national color, the red, white, and blue. The flag of our country is, is nothing easy. We have to be able to celebrate our our challenges, uh, our battle, our struggle we've passed through, our forefathers suffered to have us reached at this stage. And of course... Uh, what represent our country at all times should be patriotic. About. And that's why you're wearing the flag. I see that on your chest. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, so again, we're here to talk about um, after we we left our recess, uh, the second quarter uh, being recorded for extraordinary section. And this comes to a lot of pain. It comes with a, a lot of uh, sense of patriotism. I expect it is so as we're counting 47 days to elections when our lawmakers are seeking re-elections and they're able to leave their campaign activity to come back to do the work of the Liberian people. This speaks of uh, their dedication, their commitment to see Liberia being great. You know, and so in the interest of uh, our country, lawmakers on Tuesday, 22nd August, return to work for extraordinary section to look at key issues. Uh, and so, and I want to say to commend all of our lawmakers uh, for that, uh, that sacrifice, leaving your campaign activity to say, look, let's go, this has to do with our people. Let's go back and let's look at these uh, legislations. This is something never seen before. 
Yes, before I talk about the return of the Honor House of Representatives, I again like to, on behalf of the uh, Press Bureau, you know, notified the role the Honor House of Representatives played in the ongoing of the former Deputy Speaker, okay. Hans Bachi. Oh, Hans Bachi, yeah. yeah, so finally he has been laid to rest in his hometown, uh, Owens Grove, uh, that took place uh, sometimes over the weekend, and uh, that was last week. And we were here eulogizing the uh, fallen statesman, following uh, the state funeral in the rotunda of the capital. And thanks to the Honorable House of Representatives, uh, the body was also represented at that occasion. And I think he has uh, played his part. He has he has lived and and worked for the people of District One, Grand Bassett County. And all we can say. Uh, that the family will take heart, uh, it takes solace uh, uh, through these difficult moments. But again, like you rightly said, um, we were on reasons and, you know, to go on break, especially when you have the elections, you have contenders from all across the, the different districts, the 73 districts, and not a single district you'll talk about and say this lawmaker is running on a post. Uh, you have all of the, uh, the the different districts, the 73 districts I contested for by individuals from different political institutions. Mm -hmm. And so uh, just in the uh, the heat of the campaign period, uh, the members of the Honor House of Representatives had to chip in, you know, from campaign activities and return on Capitol Hill because... It is because of those people they are uh, providing representation at the level of the honor house of representatives and so if there are issues that uh, weren't uh, the full uh, consideration by the august body it means that the members of the honor house of representatives will have to return and so yes it was a zestful occasion on tuesday uh, to have a majority of lawmakers uh, from across the country, returning, uh, highly spirited, uh, they've come with uh, renewed vigor right. uh, to do the Liberian people business, like they always done. Yes, like yeah. they always done in the process, and so uh, it was a, a very colorful event. Uh, you know, I saw on the faces of uh, majority members of the Honorable House of Representatives uh, adequately prepared, uh, wearing the smiles. Uh, to work in the interest of their people. And so they've said to themselves that uh, no matter the campaign period, uh, the people elected us to provide representation, Lord making, and our oversight. And now that we have uh, the desire to return on Capitol Hill to address a couple of issues, it is by fair important uh, that we... Uh, yes, that we kind of address those issues. And so, yes, the members of the Honorable House of Representatives were in session on Thursday. On Wednesday, again, you had a full House of Representatives on Capitol Hill. And today is holiday. So, you know, all of them, they are preparing for tomorrow. You will again have all of the different offices opened. The lawmakers are there. And, yes, a couple of issues. And we are there up until September. Uh, uh, the 5th of yeah, the 5th of September, and then, uh, you know, they will have to resume their normal campaign activities in the process. But as far as we're concerned, we can say to you that no matter the campaign activities, the lawmakers that you elected have, uh, you know, returned to Capitol Hill to do the work of the Liberian people. Right, which is uh, so much welcoming to have. Imagine... Uh, lawmakers on your campaign trail as far as feasible Lofa County, as far as Jelitabo in Maryland County, as far as uh, E. Dana in the Grand Basso, as far as uh, 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 Nima County, District Number 9, uh, or, or all the other districts in Nima, uh, the nine districts, uh, and then uh, in Bumming County, in Bon County, in uh, 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 Lofa, in Sando, uh, I mean, fireway areas, uh, Grand Cru County, and then they have to leave it to come and work in the interest of the Liberian people. It's welcoming. It's been selfless. It's been selfless, yeah. High level of patriotism. And so we want to say thank you to our lawmakers. They have once again sacrificed for us as Liberians to come and work in our interest. So this extraordinary session... Um, it's going to look at several issues. And so uh, several issues of national concern, I will say that. 
uh, the return of our lawmakers, uh, in the words of Yega, they look spirited. Uh, they are re-energized. They come with a lot of zest to make sure the work of the people of Liberia is being done. They have come to address issues surrounding the likelihood of Liberians, among several other national issues ranging from national security to the issue of the economy, the issue about the, the, the I mean, a, a better living condition of our people. And so they are going, they have come to, uh, these things require immediate attention and they are come to work tirelessly to find effective and sustainable solutions to those problems. And that's what they're up capital here for. And for many of you who are listening to the radio, uh, it is done legally, and this is a legal return mm -hmm. of the it's consistent with the constitution. Yeah, consistent with the Liberian Constitution, and so uh, the members Artic of Article the, Thirty Two, Thirty Two, yeah, of the Constitution. Yeah, so uh, yeah. so it's legal. And this is a call to national duty, and this is why they were elected. And so in the coming days, you have a couple of those issues. Director Hines aligned some. To talk about the livelihood of Liberians. Right. Let's talk about the well being of Liberians mm -hmm. during these critical periods of the country. The country is going to election. How do we handle or maintain the peace of this country? Right. They are concerned about uh, the stability of this country. And so when you hear that the lawmakers have returned, they have not just returned uh, to have the chambers full with uh, uh, all of them, but they have returned. Uh, to talk about how do we maintain the peace? Because, you know, this is the lawmaking body. They are responsible to make laws of the country or for the country. And so if, if there are issues of concern, they will have to return. You are talking about the livelihood. Mm -hmm. Thank God that we have a legislature seated and passing the great laws that today we have stability and then you have uh, commodities. Uh, Liberians are having commodities. You don't have a scarcity of those things. So they are there to address those issues, the livelihood of Liberians. We're also talking about the security aspect of the country. Yes, the lawmakers, you know, the last time took a bold step to ensure that the drug law, this, mm. this drug law that has been a nightmare for Liberians, uh, the children, uh, their mindset have been polluted. You have a lot of children, uh, you know, engaged into drug activities, illicit drug activities. And so the lawmakers took a definite position. It started with the Honorable House of Representatives. They've come down to talk about the security component of this country. So they will be looking at a couple of issues. Now, there are some issues, uh, yeah, we're just bringing them to you on the surface. Right. There are some that are very sensitive security nature mm. very sensitive so those things will be talked about uh, they have concerns but they will not be public conversations they will be handled by the lawmakers and of course uh, following the interventions of members uh, members of the house of representatives they will communicate with the stakeholders in the executive to ensure implementation and, and, and full realization of those laws. And so that's why you have the body seated at this time. And it's good that we also have the Senate, you know, the Senate has also joined us because when we talk about the return, we're not just talking about the Honorable House of Representatives. We have to be mindful not about the Constitution. The Constitution says uh, nobody shall operate beyond five days. Mm -hmm. And so we have the Senate also returning and the owner of house has also returned so there's a full house i can confirm to you again that there's a full house of lawmakers on camp uh, on capitol hill right and they they are seated to work in the interests of our country and people like they always done and so we uh, are energized uh, to also be able to inform you every step along the way uh, as the lawmakers have uh Taking uh, uh, taking some time out of their campaign activities to say, look, there's a pattern that will focus uh, on 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 what matters most about our country, like they always done. And so it's it's awesome to have them come back and, like you mentioned earlier, see lawmakers meeting each other, shaking hands from distance. Uh, they were able to come back again after our closure, uh, talking about those things that matter for our country. Uh, some of those key legislations, human sensitive ones have passed in the interest of our country and, and more of such will happen in the split of in in, in, the, in these uh, two weeks that we are back up capitol hill for but again liberians let's commend our lawmakers for taking on this bold step for being patriotic enough and you know you running you you going to your campaign and uh, you have to leave it 14 days of your campaign you leave it and come back but they say look yes 
who will work in the interest of our country is to serve our country. And that's what they chose to do. So thanks to our lawmakers, we will have more of these interactions. We'll open the line shortly here to interact with you, um, Liberians. And you could basically talk about some of those issues that you think uh, while the horse is on, the horse uh, is in section, that you could basically think that would be good that uh, can come on the floor. Your leaders are people who listen a lot. You have a listening, a listening legislature. And that's why we are here on this radio program every time when you spoke about the issue of the drug law, the delay, your leaders acted. They've always listened. And so uh, you could basically have some uh, recommendation uh, or you could basically want to puff forth some idea that they will be able to grab a woman and say, oh, yes, but they make sense a lot. And let's be able to look at it and work on it in the, in, in, in the interest of our country and people. So, yeah, God, we will open the line shortly and interact with the public. What do you think? Yes, uh, uh, yes, it's good to open up the line. So, when you hear some Liberians say that the lawmakers, this lawmaker, for instance, is not working, he hasn't done anything, this is some of what they're doing. When you have a heated campaign and people are running after that seat that the lawmaker is occupying at this point, and there's a national call to duty. Mm. And that lawmaker is saying, no matter the situation behind me, but I will go. I will go to work in the interest of the people of Liberia. Right. Then when you call and say this lawmaker is not doing anything, then you have to realize the tireless effort of lawmakers in ensuring that they can address issues of national concern. Because if you don't have the lawmaker seated on Capitol Hill, the executive will not effectively function. You will not have the judiciary effectively functioning. Now, you have to understand the role of the legislature. This body is responsible for lawmaking. Mm -hmm. And when those laws are made, then you have the executive that is there to enforce those laws. If there is a breach of the law, then you have the judiciary to interpret the law. Right. So, you know, coming on and, and the lawmakers joined... And the way to return on the 13th of uh, October. Right. So it will be after elections. Mm -hmm. Because elections is scheduled for the 10th of October. Now the return of the legislature for the third uh, you know, quarter was scheduled for the 13th. But they've said, okay, we will return on the 13th. But be it as it made, there are key issues. Let's return and look at those issues. So whether you have 15 persons contesting against this lawmaker, he is saying or she is saying, let me go to Capitol Hill and work for my people. Mm -hmm. Now, I will also say to you... Leaving that, everything. Yeah, leaving everything. Leaving everything. Whether so the message is being delivered. Right. And, you know, whether your campaign message is being delivered. Why we national core is more than that core right. at this point. Now, I will also say to you that... Whilst the break was ongoing, you had the leadership constituted. Right. The leadership was working. But again, as per the rules of the Honorable House of Representatives, the leadership cannot function than the full plenary. And because plenary is the, the full plenary body. is the highest decision-making body. Right. That is why they've chosen now to return as a unit, as a full plenary, so that when those issues come before the body, then there can be a definite decision on those issues. So, yes, the leadership was working adequately. There was nothing of problem at the legislature or the Honorable House of Representatives. But because there's a constitutional provision as outlined in the rules of the Honorable House of Representatives that talks about the full plenary being the highest decision-making body, on that basis, the lawmakers have returned. And returning to address the issues of livelihood of Liberians, to talk about the security condition of this country and a couple of other issues. So then when you say that they are not working, I'm not too sure that you're getting then, it clear. you have to be able to rethink. Yeah, I rethink, remember. yeah. So let's open the lines, interact with the public. You want to call us here on the Hustles Radio program. Here are the numbers. 0880-514-096. 0770259660 are the numbers. Call us to be your part. It's about time that we speak to our leaders uh, so that you, you we, we are back in section. You, you you have recommendations. You have some issues that uh, 
you want to bring forth. They are listening and they will take cue from that. Let's go to the line. Hello. Yes, welcome to the program. Yeah, it's Thomas Dima, and I call you from District Number Four, Musarado County. Okay, it's good to have you on the line. Okay, uh, Mr. Rabo and Yiga, thank you so much for the program. For me, I can actually uh, afford to miss the program. Mm. It's actually interesting for us to know what our lawmakers are doing. So by then returning, is very, very important. They are working hard, and we see their work. But I have a clarity. Uh, I want you to make a clarity to me and maybe other people. Sometimes we hear that the extraordinary session that they can return there, what they return to, certain things can be given to them. Black, black envelope for them to do certain things or certain work. What can make them to return? It no, not true. in a brand envelope. Okay, keep listening. We'll, re <laughs> we'll respond to that, okay? Keep listening. Thanks for your point. Let's take more of the calls. 08805140096. Hello? Yes, yes, we're on the air. Welcome to the program. Kind of lower your receiver. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, uh, please, just listen to... Uh, let's take on this person calling. Hello? Yeah, hello? Let's hear you. Your name, where you call from? My name is George Antoba. I call you from Bonn County. George, great to have you from Bonn County. Which part of Bonn? Which are the district you're calling from? I'm in Banga that uh, on a district, uh, district 2. Banga is district number 3. Go district ahead. District 3. Oh, District 2? Yes. Okay. I just want to stress on the drugs issue because we heard that law, drugs law are part in the countries, but since the drug laws passed, we are hearing news that a, a, a boy died from Kuch in, I think, Grand Chile County. So, passing a law is not a, it's not a matter, but enforcing a law is what matter. Okay, my brother. Keep listening. We'll respond to that, yeah? Let's take more of the calls. This person, too, hit the line. Hello? Yeah, hello? Let's hear your, your name. Where you call from? I'm Louis Cordes from Singer. Okay, Louis. Go ahead from Singer. Yeah. Election is very crucial, right? And it's very important to the nation. After the law, we're going to start in the house for almost... No more, no more, yes. And coming back to discuss issues like... We have to forget to discuss all issues. Coming back to being you know, in in necessary because why do you now we get an internet we get we get a lot of internet why are they couldn't discuss it on internet why is the world is going mm -hmm. and far away come to internet <laughs> and so then coming back and spending much time and instead of doing lavish money and going back in the in the in the in the in the bush in the leisure is very crucial we gotta be serious in the country man Labra today Labra is one hundred and one mistake is on it on it someone yes for what we waiting for. Liberia is not one seventy seven years old. You see that's some of the reason there. You see? So what you need to do for yourself is that you talk about internet. This you country matter. Internet too, they can yeah. discuss it on internet, yeah. So not because you privilege or have internet. They, our poor parents that way in the villages, you don't want to they are Liberians too. Now few of you people who get internet and think that they might discuss the matter of the country on internet. I beg you please, man. Don't waste our time, yeah. Let's take another person in the line. Hello. Let's hear you. Your name, where you call from, please. I'm calling from Bravi. Yeah, you call from Bravi. That is uh, district number 17, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, go ahead. My thing here is this security benevolent people discuss and we are long ago and discuss and we are what in the five year period, what are we discuss about that for the safety of the Labrain people? So, what would be for good them? for you to do is to uh, basically listen. So uh, what will encapsulate the, the agenda item and those things that will be discussed? I think that's what you had to do. First, you had to even commend them for leaving your campaign and come back up Capitol Hill. Mm? Thank you. Let's take more of the calls. 08805140960770259660. This is the program. Today in the House of Representatives, a radio program here that highlights activities from up Capitol Hill, making Liberians to hear and know what their lawmakers are doing. Hello. Hello, how are you? Doing very good. Your name, where you call from? Yeah, my name is Fly. I call from District Number Six. District Number Six, what County? Yeah, yeah. Thank you for the. Program. What County? District Number Six. Montserrat County. Great. Sorry. Great. Go ahead. Okay. Well, just thank you so much for the for this show. I just wanted to say something. Mm -hmm. I'm sure these uh, lawmakers, they are our lawmakers, mm -hmm. and coming back, there is a motivating factor to be in our back. Mm -hmm. 
So we have to take this into consideration. Mm. You guys have analyzed that they are leaving everything they are coming. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be for free. It is at the expense of the Liberian people. So let's not say they are coming back for free. They are coming back to do that work. Is that work? I mean, we can't beg them. And coming back, they have then additional allocation made to them that they will benefit from. Okay? Secondly, I hope they can be able to use this opportunity to ensure that laws uh, are passed to support and respond to issues that are facing the Liberian people. Such That's as, just coming back. Such as, say, such as? The drug law. Other laws are still pending on their, on their docket. Mm. Okay, my dear brother, thank you very much. Salient point uh, you made there. Let's take more of the course. We will we'll be able to speak to those things. Hello? Yeah, hello. Let's hear your, your name. Where are you joining us from? Yeah, my name is Prince Jiria Gakoni from Pikano. Oh, Prince Jiria Gakoni from Pikano. That is Electoral District number three, right? Yeah, yeah sorry, got it right. Oh, I don't want to appreciate for the program, but uh, I, I have a little bit of problem. Yeah, the go ahead. The problem I have here is that the level, the level system, brother, they are treating our brother. That's what those that are assigned if you are counted, they can just go and hold grab. And everything the company do to the workers, they don't care. So I, I, I just have to, I just have to appeal to the national government. Sometimes they get the kind of work and then to come and check the session count. Mm. But to the area sign it, can't they? they don't work. They just sit down and other things like you carry a complaint to them. They don't always hear that we will ask for it. At the end, go to take grab. They will get the money. And sometimes they will mash down a lot of people. Your rent will be waived. They will no longer listen to you. So I almost like they almost like listen to pop back and they get to about us selling nothing. Even you are going to go to HMS and even care for you. Okay. By appealing, you are coming to something. Because they live with the lower spy in your country. Mm. They live with the church. They live with the company taking bribes. They don't even care. They don't even care for the same. Even you carry crime with them. Even the company is HMS. You carry crime with them. You don't listen to them. You pretend. Oh, to know where I want to go. As soon as you go there, they will come. They will not get it. So anyway, this is what I'm talking about. They say, my man, you are pulling our package. Your common vision in our package. So all we are going to say. Right. So you want you want members of the House of Representatives to take action. Thank you very much. Uh, the host have a committee called Labor, and that has been chaired by um, uh, Representative P. Majure. And so they are listening. We will be able to channel that to them as well. 08805140960770259660. Let's take on this person calling. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to the program. What's your name? Where you call from? Thank you. It's Havaki Johnson. I call from District Number Three, Grand Bassa County. Great to hear you from uh, District Three, Grand Bassa. Yeah, I feel concerned. Please go ahead. Uh, one. Uh, that we was built on a Christian principle. And we have been hearing from and reading on newspaper about the issue of legalization of abortion. We hope and pray that it is not done in Liberia. We hope and pray that this coming legislature and legislature to come should stand there. And there's no issue of concern. There are many people in the country who went to school, graduated from school, and have skills and want to be employed by the government. All in care relating. What is the government, what is the legislature doing so that they can ensure that those people who went to school pay their school fees and acquire knowledge so they can be able to attend to their family and be able to uh, 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 contribute to their family? Why are you going to watch that? The issue of volunteer. Thank you. Thank you, my dear brother, for your points, salient points you made there. We'll talk about that. Hello. Hello. Let's hear you. Your name, where you call from? Yeah, I'm Benjamin K. I'm calling from Fender. Okay, from Fender. That is Electoral District number one, right? Yeah, this way, number one. Yeah, go ahead, Honorable Lauren yeah, Morris. Yeah, I want to uh, thank the, the studio guys so much for this program. And my concern has to do with two things. Mm. The drugs, yeah, and the drugs bill. Mm -hmm. And the, 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 yeah, the law, you spoke about the judiciary is responsible to interpret the law. Right. Okay, yeah, this is my point, because you said that we should call to make our, I would call it our point there. Yeah, brother. But you see the, yeah, the drugs bill, I know it's effective. I must thank the, the, the legislator for doing that. Mm -hmm. But one thing that we need to do as a nation mm -hmm. in order to minimize the drug issue in our country, the truth is the legislator needs to stand. Let us control the international currency, most especially to be precise, the U.S. are not in the bank, mm -hmm. and let us use our national currency for every business affair. Because what the drug dealers are chasing they are chasing the U.S. Out. And that's why when you go in America, the drugs, 
rate is higher than any other country because they are just in the U.S. Army. So that is number one point. And the second question here also to concerning the law. Mm. I don't know if they, they legislate, the legislature, they are monitoring the judicial branch on how they interpret the law. Mm. So this is my question. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, my dear brother. You see, this is the reason why the show is here for. So I have to give you the opportunity to speak. Another person in the line. Hello? Hello? Take the call. Yes, welcome to the program. Let's hear your name, please. Um, I'm Joseph Conway. Okay, Joseph, where are you calling from? I'm calling from ELWA, Pinsley, to be precise. District 6, Montserrat County. Let's hear you. Yeah, uh, actually, I want to commend... I want to commend the national legislature. I think they are doing a kind of um, good job for the Liberian people. On the other hand, while it is true, all will not be hundred percent. But um, the ones they are, you know, or uh, impact on, we must appreciate them. Um, two things quickly um, that I want to emphasize on. The very first one has to do with that issue of abortion. Um, I want to consult the national legislature not to get credit to that particular law. Mm. Um, the very first thing is people should consider um, the kind of geographical um, terrain of every given country. Um, Liberia has our own tradition, and our tradition is not to abort you know, on um, one baby. So they should take that into consideration, those who are advocating for it. Um, we say capital no to it, and our legislature should act in that vanya. The issue of the uh, amended draw law, for me, I think it's good. I must commit the national legislature and that of the president. Um, I think they have not taken effect yet because simply um, in the they are not passed into hand bill. When that is done, um, I think it becomes a full law, then it will take uh, effect from that point. So, so far, so good. I want to appreciate them. Thank you. Okay, thank you ever so much. More of the calls right here. Let's talk to another caller. Welcome to the program. Hello. Good evening. Welcome. Uh, am I love you, ELBC? This is ELBC. Let's hear you, please. Huh? Welcome to the program. Let's hear you. Oh, please. Uh, uh, we got more of the calls coming in here. Zero eight eight zero five one four zero nine six. This person, hello. Please. Hello. Oh, yes. Let's take on this person to join us. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Let's hear you. Uh, please ten seconds. Have a good Johnson. Just get the material. Begin on from Afghani. And one thing I want, we have one for the also local has to do it. Parents in the country are earning their living in, by LRD. And LRD is a legal tenure in Liberia. Most instances these days, including schools, are currently requesting and demanding USD. What are you doing? What the legislation will, will be done? Our parents, you can be selling your coal, you, you, you do buy a coal in USD. It's boy LRD. You can be selling pepper, and you, you send your children to school. In hey, Liberian dollars, be clear, so the other people can hear you. Well, LRD. Liberian dollars you're talking about, right? Oh, okay. So let's take on let's take on more of the calls right here. Zero eight eight zero five one four. He was raising a very salient point there. But the thing about it is that about people volunteering and do they want it? everybody can now work in government. That's what the private sector is there for. This person in the line. Hello. Yes, let's hear your your name. Where you joining us from? Yes, please go ahead. My sympathy for the loss of uh, your direct representative on our hands, Batu. So that's why you're saying it's a banner. It's not a banner because he's passed away now. But go ahead. Let's yes. hear you. Yes. Well, I was to come back to work. And I applaud them. The reason I want to do is I beg them. That is because the issue of peace. I beg them. So oh. that I think that's your peace. Right. Okay, Derek, uh, thank you so much for being a part of it. Yeah, you know, so we'll take more of the calls. Yeah, God, but I'm sure we'll take some time to respond to a couple yes, of the questions yeah, couple coming of up on uh, the callers. Yeah. Somebody raised a point about abortion. As far as we know, 
uh, that has not come before the legislature. And so uh, we cannot holistically speak and say, oh, yes, uh, there's this abortion stuff even on the legislature to act on. But the rest of show, the lawmakers have always acted in the interests of our country and people. And so uh, we will adequately inform you whether on this radio program, like we always done, or on our social media page, or other interviews, we will adequately inform you about those uh, uh, gender items, like what we do. But as far as we know, there is nothing about abortion that is before the legislature to look at. Yes, Director Hines, I think you're correct because uh, the last time we uh, we we held such conversation or heard about such was uh, with the Senate mm -hmm. uh, when the Senate said there was an ongoing stakeholder uh, consultation, uh, consultation the, relative to the abortion law. Right. But as far as we're concerned, that uh, has that come forth before the Honorable House of Representatives. So until the law is before uh, the Honorable House of Representatives, then we can speak to that issue. Right. And again, to another gentleman raised a point about the issue about the drug uh, law. So that is already printed into him bills. The legislature acted, the president signed it, it's printed into him bills. So you say it is in effect. So let me say this. Like uh, Yeg had mentioned, uh, the legislature is there to be able to enact laws. So the representatives or the senators are not going to be behind people to enforce the law. The executive enforces the law. The legislature make the law, the executive enforces the law, the judiciary is there to interpret the law. So when you say passing the, passing the law that I want it, yes, but that's the work of the legislators. And that's how they acted and they passed this. It is the executive branch of government that is to enforce the law. Because in the executive, you have the police. You have the police that under the executive. They are there to be able to enforce the law. All right? And so you will not see representatives from the, these counties running behind drug uh, 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 dealers because you see the law is very clear so we'll get a uh, house speaker dr buffer chambers uh we'll talk to house speaker dr buffer chambers uh since the fact is uh uh the day. flag day uh, he could basically have a message for our people uh dr speaker uh buffer chambers welcome and happy flag well, day uh, thank you so much uh and for this platform i want to express my hearty um, flag day greetings to you in the studio, uh, to His Excellency, uh, the President of the Republic of Liberia. Uh, I describe him as a person beyond greatness. Uh, my colleagues uh, who have been uh, so dutiful and uh, our wonderful people of People's Sadoka District in New Jerusalem and uh, the entire Maryland County and by extension the Republic of Liberia. Right. So I want to say I want to say a hearty uh, 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 flag day to everybody. Great, and I know you attended the program on today, looking at those young kids uh, giving uh, 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 marching on, saluting the flag, uh, which uh, symbolizes a uh, peace, unity. Uh, it was astounding. Uh, we did appreciate uh, the young uh, uh, patriots who went there to. Uh, exercise uh, their civic rights, their civic duties uh, to uh, the, on behalf of the school and the Republic of Liberia. Uh, but uh, before uh, making further comments, I want to express my profound condolences uh, to those young uh, you know, um, uh, citizens who lost their lives uh, along the, the Monrovia Ganta Highway. I would like uh, that uh, the parents, uh, the relatives uh, have comfort in the Lord. And to the young gentleman who also lost his life uh, uh, in his uh, campaign spirit, uh, a registered candidate, a qualified candidate who just uh, lost his life. I hope uh, that uh, the law will take its course because no one deserves uh, to depart this earth in this manner. I think we all need peace. Uh, peace should be uh, the, uh, the, 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 the fulcrum of this process. Uh, 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 peace should be the, the centerpiece of what we are doing. 
because this is a healthy, this should be a healthy exercise to lead our people. Uh, this day, in my view, uh, to uh, epitomize, to be very brief, our flag symbolizes courage, moral excellence, and freedom amongst others. Uh, so I hope we we'll have the courage, the moral excellence, and the freedom uh, to do what is responsible. And I want to thank everybody who uh, today uh, had that spirit of celebration. Uh, Liberia, as it is, uh, should be uh, considered by all as a country uh, that is thriving uh, in the right direction. Uh, this government has been working masterfully hard, beautifully hard, uh, to ensure that uh, everything uh, that has been eluding our people uh, will see their faces. Uh, we have people uh, that are complaining. Yes, uh, it is good to complain. We all need uh, a way forward in obtaining uh, solutions. When we look around us, I mean, uh, just recently, uh, I mean, just last year, not too long, uh, around November of last year, I was in Britain, and and I and I and I saw also uh, the challenges in Britain. And Britain is supposed to be a country uh, that is, uh, uh, you know. Uh, we call it a global north, a mm. developed country, you know, uh, one of the global northern countries. So uh, Liberia, uh, as by history now, and and, 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 and whatever it, it, it means to us, is uh, part of the global south. But it will, it will, it will uh, kind of uh, uh, make you to wonder uh, that, uh, you know, um, in England, the health care, uh, since 2010, uh, the salaries for health workers are reduced by 20%. And that was reported, that was reported by Sky News. Uh, you know, and, and, and we should know that on the contrary in Liberia, uh, we are having some elevation, some uh, improvement in the health area, though mm -hmm. not as what we want it to be, but you see many health uh, workers have been put on payroll, doctor salaries have been improved. Now, even if you look at the economy as it is, I want to thank the president for you know, working along with the legislature constructively mm -hmm. that most of, uh, you know, what it, it requires for mobilization in terms of resources have been concluded. And uh, there is hope, uh, 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 you know, palpable hope uh, that uh, that you can depend on uh, that will make it possible for uh, the stretch uh, between Ganta uh, uh, as far as uh, 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 Riboji or Merlin. So that is on course, uh, but you know the rain season is a challenge. You can, I mean, you can state this uh, quite clearly because you see the development between San Equale and the border to other coast. So we are making, you know, strides, and we all should be very happy to ensure that uh, collectively we can have uh, a kind of a way forward in terms of, uh, you know, transformation developmentally. Right. Uh, Mr. Speaker, oh, Mr. Speaker yes. so let me just hold you right here because we don't have lots of time now. We're shockly to wrap up. So uh, you are back up Capitol Hill. Can we say, Brené, as a legislative pretty to seem to have your your colleagues uh, leaving your campaign activity to return up Capitol Hill to do the people's business? Well, I believe... Uh, uh, LBS can give us additional 10 minutes. Today is a uh, uh, flag day. Okay. But that, having said that, I will, I will, because, you know, sometimes our programs are, are disrupted and we give some accommodations. So, you know, every good turn leads to another. Right. And LBS uh, is full of uh, uh, intelligent and clear thinking people. So I don't think uh, there will be too much to, to, to ask for and too much to consent to. Okay. Uh, so uh, that said, you know, yes, our people coming uh, back to the Capitol building is a self-up negating. Uh, it is a kind of a action of selflessness. It's a kind of patriotic and national duty that we all should embrace. But looking at the geo uh, aspect of things, that is why we're coming back for human-sensitive approach. I think this time and in the future, there will be meaningful transformation. There will be dialogue amongst nations because as sovereignty depicts, you know, we are all equal, and we should all be able to have a seat on the table and decide on our own menu. So we must be able to act constructively and respectfully. You know, that respectability must be there for all who comes uh, with that uh, spirit of uh, sovereignty and democracy. That said, Liberia is doing, doing very hard in terms of what it has been doing, managing the budget. Mm. Though there are challenges, we hope we can also mount that but there's a need for rethinking and renegotiation. Liberia as it is, 
It's a country that does not have uh, much in terms of debt. You understand with the population. Africa as a continent does not have so much of debt as we can think about. Let me just give you an example. Africa has a population of 1.4 trillion in terms of population. Now, we can name some countries from China, America, United Kingdom, France, Germany. Now, Africa that has 1.4 trillion populated people has a debt of as far back as 2022. In 2022, it had a debt of 704.2 billion. Now, the United States, our, our, our partner, you understand, has a population of 332 uh, million persons and had a debt in 2022, an uh, amount of 30 trillion. Our, our China, that has a population, or I mean, a little over Africa's population, 1.45 trillion, has a debt. Of, uh, of 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 13 trillion united kingdom that has a population of 68 million people as far back as 2022 has a debt of 68.6 trillion france has a debt of 65 trillion germany has a debt of uh, i mean of no no france is 7.32 trillion germany has a debt of 5.74 trillion so you know, I mean, we can all imagine how things are. I think the next negotiation and the collective approach should be Africa needs more industrialization. Africa needs more value addition. Africa needs more space in terms of how we cultivate our land. So that, in a sense, in a sense, will transform Africa. You know, somebody told me uh, that uh, if a child is fed, a child works constructively, so the hunger in Africa must be at least reduced so that some positive drives in thinking can take the place of the otherness. Because when you find people acting how they act, sometimes it's because there is no space there that has been nurtured. Mm -hmm. So we can work together. I want to say again, this day, I mean, should remind all of us of uh, courage, of moral excellence, and freedom. And to what we do now, I hope it will bring some greater development to our people. Coming back, yeah, it's for human sensitive issue, issues. And you can never stop working. You know, every day you must work, whether it's election time or not election time. And because of the existentiality, that is why we were recalled. So coming back, since we all decided to come back in the interest of uh, making our country to have a leap positively, I think uh, for my colleagues, uh, beyond being good Samaritans, I will call that super irrigatory uh, dutifulness. So I want to thank all of them and thank you again for giving us the platform and thank, uh, thank LBS uh, for this uh, you know, uh, consideration. Thank you so much. Well, thank you so much, Speaker Buffer Timus, for telling us, uh, speaking to Liberians and again commending his uh, colleagues for sacrificing to come back to do the work of the Liberian people. Yeah, guys, we have to wind down the curtains. Thanks to LBS for. Uh, this uh, legislative dispensation. <laughs> yes, very well. <laughs> so that's all the time we have to be here, Liberians. It's been wonderful. The next time we're here will be on Thursday. We will certainly give you um, those things that have been discussed up Capitol Hill. It's been a wonderful conversation. Thanks to the entire management here. Thanks to the Press and Public Affairs Bureau, the team, and to all of you lawmakers for coming back and to do the work you always done in the interest of our country. My name is Robert Hins. I've been here along with uh, Terry Hukwe-Yega, the Deputy Spokesperson of the Honorable House of Representatives.